really? Hey guys, beautiful morning here in Florida. I'm gonna go try fishing with some live shrimp and see what we can catch. I don't know if my hat's crooked this time, but at least my glasses aren't fogged up. Beautiful day. Let's get out there on the water. See if we can catch a fish or two. And see y'all on the water. Must be slack right now. I just saw some dolphins out there, I think. The water temp 77 this morning. Who is that thing? If it's a log, we're getting it out of the water. Look at that big old log floating in the water. We're gonna have to get that. Look at that thing. The camera fell over when I was fishing it out of the water. You hit that going fast? Uh-uh. All right, guys, anchor is set. Let's see how we can do. We're going to fish under the Highway 41 bridge, live shrimp, dead shrimp, and see how we do. Let's get fishing. Just a live shrimp, free line with a little tiny split shot. No, it's a snapper. Nice little mangrove snapper. Mangrove snapper. Let's see if we can get the sun on it. Nice. Free lining live shrimp. Fish number one. Put another rod. That's a better fish, too. Snappa! Number two, mangrove snapper. Beautiful fish. Wish we had better light. Freelining them, just letting them swim with a very tiny weight. When they take them, they just boom. Got another one on. Oh, he's wrapped around something. He came off. Another snapper. Yeah. Another snapper. I 
absolutely beautiful fish. Not very big. It's supposed to be good eating. I don't know. Hey guys, Will from 512 Fishing Adventures. So we're gonna go over the setup we use to tight line or free line live shrimp. There's basically a one setup. You get your line and I use 15 pound fluorocarbon or 20 pound with a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. The fluorocarbons, it's less visible on the water. I mean, it's even hard to see on this video. So basically what we do is attach a hook to the end of the line. I use the improved clinch knot. I'll show you that with a piece of rope in another video. Pass it through, pass it through. Tighten it down. Snip off the end. All right, now here's the key. About six inches between the split shot and the four rot long shank bait holder hook. And we hook the shrimp. There are various ways, live shrimp. Some people hook them through the nose up here. I like to hook them through the, the second joint section of their tail, like that. I think it gives them a more natural presence. Let's go throw in the water and see if we can catch one. I also want to say thanks to my friend Bryant for the awesome hook and tackle brand. Lightweight, breathable, UV protection fishing shirts. And that doesn't help. Fishing shirts. Actually makes me look skinny. Thank you, Bryant. Thank you, Hook and Tackle. There they are. Hookandtackle.com. Giant conglomeration of clams. We have a visitor, can you see him? Tiny crab. Let's let you go, little buddy. Don't get tangled up in your pliers. That is also a key. <laughs> 